Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Sidelines. I am Bill Jamison, and with me this week on Sidelines are the state champion Neptune Scarlet Flyers basketball team, the team that played to 29 wins and no losses throughout the season. And we waited since November, playing always in the shadow of the Camden Panthers until one day, March 17, 1981, when they brought the Camden season to a brutal halt behind the defense of Coach Henry Moore and his Scarlet Flyers. Coach, this was a long year, a long season, and it's finally come to a close. Yes, uh, it, it definitely has come to a close, but uh, it's, it's a fantastic feeling. All the guys feel real great. The community is very enthusiastic. People have really responded real well toward us. Uh, I just can't really explain all the things that have happened to us since this game. Uh, this year is very, very special. Uh, last year we were 21 and 5, and uh, the guys made up their mind that we would try and put it all together defensively and offensively and see if we could come back to Neptune with a state championship. And uh, we did it. Coach, I know one thing we talked about all season long was the fact that you stressed defense. 29 wins and no losses. I guess you got to say defense is the way to go with this game. Well, defense is definitely one of the things. When I got the job, I said that I wanted to improve Neptune's defense. Offensively, I thought uh, Neptune has always been very strong. And the defensive end, I thought, could probably need, uh, needed a little improvement. And we work on defense quite a bit, constantly. And uh, Coach Walling, Coach Pullen, and myself, we've spent many, many hours talking about defense. Uh, also, the players have dedicated themselves to uh, putting full effort into trying to keep the other team down to a low score. I think this is very instrumental in that when we are not shooting very well on offense, you're still in the ball game because you are doing a heck of a job on defense. You always have a chance to win. Okay. Bill, perhaps Bill Pullen, assistant coach over here at Neptune. Uh, coach, would you like to say anything about the way uh, Coach Moore has stressed defense throughout and maybe some of the ways you worked on it throughout the season? Well, first, Bill, I'd like to say that I've known most of these guys since they were in about seventh grade, and it's got to be the greatest bunch of guys I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. Uh, they put a lot of effort into every drill that they do. We stress a lot of drills that emphasize defense and put in a lot of time in practice and really have to concentrate during the game to play defense. It's real easy to lose your concentration when the other team's passing and picking and uh, trying to get you to forget about playing that end of the game. And, uh, we try to play the game at both ends of the floor. Coach Moore stresses that. Okay. And Russ, anything outstanding you'd like to mention uh, throughout those state playoffs? Any one game you think that really... Uh, put it together for Neptune or any game that they began to uh, really turn the corner that you really believed you could get Camden? Well, there was three games this year that st uh, stood out in my mind. The first was the first Long Branch game when we established ourselves as a uh, sure power. The second was the Atlantic City game when we established ourselves as a state power. The third was the Cam uh, Camden game when we established ourselves as a national power. Those three games stand out in my mind as probably our three most excellently played games of the year okay congratulations coach let me get back to you for one second again here uh during the uh the season i know many times when we've spoken uh that uh, the name camden kind of hung over your head there were times when you shied away from it you didn't want to talk about it um i kept asking you questions about it and uh i guess you believed all along that camden could be yours if you played your game well to be honest with you one day in practice I said to the guys, I said, uh, I'm, I'm very sick and tired of uh, hearing about Camden. I'm tired of reading about Camden. Uh, I, I told the guys, I said, if we play our kind of game, if we play the type of game that we're capable of, we can beat anybody. And uh, I knew the guys felt that way. Uh, I always felt that way. Bill and the Russ felt that way. And that's all we talked about. We worried about what we could do. Uh, we read a lot of clippings about Camden. We read about Milt Wagner averaging 38 points a game, uh, Thompson and All-American. They were a very, very big team. They had beat some very excellent teams during the year. But we felt that uh, at Neptune High School, we had the kind of team that could go out 
and demonstrate full effort offensively and defensively the whole game. We practice very hard every day. And we told the guys, he said, if we put the time in and practice that uh, in the games, that this would bear out. And I think in the state tournament, all the tough, long hours that we put in all came to that final result when we played uh, Camden and then we had to play Shabazz being behind by nine and then 12 points, came back in the last quarter. That takes a lot of heart. That takes a lot of desire. That just doesn't come about without any determination, any hard work. And I tell you, these guys prove themselves. They prove exactly what they're made out of, and that's mental toughness. The Shabazz game was a come from behind. He didn't take the lead until the fourth quarter. And uh, would you say that was the toughest game all year? Do you feel maybe you came out a little flat after that, that game uh, with Camden uh, just a few days before? Well, we played a Trenton game at our place, and we had a terrible first half. It was pretty much the same thing. It was like deja vu. Uh, first half, we couldn't hit a thing. We missed 10, 11 layups. Uh, we came back in the Shabazz game, same thing, 10, 11 layups. And at halftime, the only thing that I told the guys uh, was that, you know, just take your time, continue to play the same game plan that we had uh, talked about. We were going inside to Bobby and Kevin, and we told them sooner or later the ball will fall. And uh, sooner or later the ball did fall, and Kevin and Bobby came through, played a fantastic game. Carl Braggs, great job on the boards, and Brian Terry and Eddie and uh, Donnell. And everyone did a fantastic job. These guys put it all together. Uh, a lot of people felt maybe uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't win this last game. We choked. But I, I tell you, they showed everybody. They showed uh, Neptune. I think they showed the state of New Jersey that uh, when you can get 13 guys together who really believe in themselves, they can do anything they want to. All right, Coach. Let's show Neptune some of these guys, some of the guys who brought the state championship back here to Neptune. First time in 32 years. By the way, fellas, that was my birthday, and I thank you. It was a great birthday present, March 21st, taking that state title. Okay, here's one of the guys you mentioned earlier, Bobby Braun, who uh, was uh, very instrumental in that fourth quarter uh, at the Shabazz game. Bob, you want to say anything? Yeah, well, first, happy birthday. <laughs> and then I knew we'd come back, but it was, just took a little bit longer than it did against Trenton. Shots weren't falling. Everybody was missing. But then they started missing, got in a little foul trouble, and the game was ours. Okay. Coach, you want to introduce some of these players, maybe say something about them? Yeah. Brian Gabriel. Uh, Brian has played uh, two years starting guard. Brian is this year our shooting guard. Done a fantastic job offensively. Uh, one of our best defensive players. Brian always came through with good steals. And uh, he also led our team in scoring. And uh, he also led in... Uh, many categories. Brian? i just like to thank um, everybody for their support. Mr. Moore is a great coach. Bill Jamison for following yeah. us. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, behind Bra uh, Gabriel is uh, the biggest guy on the team, <laughs> Kevin Thomas. Uh, Kevin during the year uh, averaged uh, around 12 points early in the year, maybe 10 or 11. Uh, maybe the ball sometimes didn't go into Kevin. And uh, Kevin didn't always score, but he always rebounded, and he played excellent defense all year long. But when it really counted in the state tournament, when people said that uh, Kevin Thomas was just big, uh, Kevin Thomas came out and showed everybody. He showed the state. He showed the world what he could do. And I tell you, he put it all together. He averaged around 21 to 22 points. He averaged about 10, 11 rebounds, and he played excellent defense. Kevin? Uh, I just thank uh, all the fans for uh, supporting us through, throughout the season and, uh, and for Coach Stratton's, Stratton's defense and Coach Wallen and Coach Pullen for helping us out a lot during the year. Coach, can I ask, uh, I'd like to ask Kevin a question. Kevin, in the fourth quarter there uh, in the Shabazz game Saturday night, you really looked like you were saying, give me the ball, give me the ball, I can do it. Do you f I know we talked a number of times during the season. Uh, you felt you had to prove some things to a few people. Do you feel like you've done it? I think I did. I, you know, I did get the ball in there. They passed the ball down low, and I just, like, did my job. But, and uh, I think I did prove a lot though, throughout the season. I'm glad you did, Kevin. Coach. Okay, next 
is uh, Terry Fisher, our point guard. Terry, Terry takes care of our offense. He runs the offense, and he plays excellent defense. Uh, Terry is probably the unsung hero of the team in that uh, Terry doesn't get too many points, although he is an excellent offensive player. I think Terry is a very underrated ball player, but I think Terry will be an excellent college player, and uh, he's an excellent individual. Terry? Uh, like to say hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Pop. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Moore, Mr. Pullen, Mr. Wallen, three excellent coaches that, that you know. I'd like to thank the um, Neptune squad. I'd like to thank Brian, Kevin, Brian, <laughs> Carl. Without y'all, you know, I had a lot of fun. Class 81. You know, glad we um, won the states this year. You know, as senior, um, I'm glad we accomplished what we did, you know, leave, leave not too high in style. And I also like to thank, you know, our fans and our cheerleaders for supporting us the way they did. Thank you. Okay, uh, next up is Isaiah Calderon. He's a junior. He'll be back next year. I'm sure Ike will contribute quite a bit in the backcourt. Probably uh, our starting point guard. Uh, is very, very quick. He's got good hands, excellent defensive player. Uh, Looking forward to a lot of from a lot of things from Ike next year. Ike, I just like to thank the community for their support, and I would like to aware them not to count us out because the Neptune Scarlet Flyers will be back next year. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> next over here is Chaz Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's a junior. Uh, uh, we expect a lot from Charlie next year. Uh, Charlie, as well as Isaiah Calderon. These guys came to practice, and they helped us out a lot. Uh, they were dedicated. They did everything we asked them to do, and we owe a lot to them. Charlie? Uh, I would just like to thank y'all for supporting us, and without y'all, it wouldn't have been possible, and it was a great privilege being on the team this year. Thank you. All right, next up is Donnell Brown, about 6'2", very strong, strong rebounder, excellent shot. Don Donnell came off the uh, excuse me, came off the uh, bench to relieve uh, Carl Braggs, Bobby Braun under the boards. He did a fantastic job uh, in the state tournament. We had to go to Donnell, and uh, he came through, came through in mighty fine style. We're expecting a lot of things from Donnell next year. Donnell, I just like to thank all of our supporters and mainly the three coaches because they taught me a lot of things, and I just like to thank them. All right, next over is Joe Parker. Joe is a junior. We're expecting Joe back next year. Uh, we're looking uh, forward to a lot of things from Joe. Joe has improved quite a bit in the last month or so. He's jumping well. His offense is much better. Defense has improved. And uh, hopefully Joe will be uh, our big man down low next year. Joe? I'd like to say thank you to the community and thank you to the three coaches because they did also help me out a lot. And I'll be all right. Next over is Lim Walker. Lim Walker is probably one of the greatest individuals that I have ever been associated with. Uh, this guy never complains. He comes to practice. He works hard. Uh, whenever you call on Lim, he's ready. He stays ready. If he plays two minutes, that's all right with him. If he plays five minutes, it's all right. Lim is a, has a great attitude. He's a fantastic person. He's helped us out in many, many areas this year. I'm sure that Lim will go on to college, and I'm sure he'll be, uh, he will do excellent in anything that he, uh, he tries to do. Lim? Well, my first and last on varsity season, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Pullen, Mr. Wallen. You know, I learned a lot this year, and even though I may not play in college, you know, it's still been a great experience for me. Thank you. All right, next over is uh, Easy Ed. Easy Ed Arlington. All right, Eddie is probably known as one of the best pure shooters around. Uh, Eddie came off the bench this year. He did a fantastic job relieving Terry and Brian. Uh, there's many times uh, when we had to call on Eddie to come in and give us a lift offensively and defensively. Uh, Eddie came around this year also in the state tournament. Uh, when we had to call on Eddie, Eddie was ready and did a fantastic job. I think Eddie will make an excellent college basketball player. Eddie? I just want to thank the town of Neptune for all their support and everything. I've grown up with all these guys. 
and played a lot of basketball with him. And the coaches did a fantastic job this year. And I just had a pleasure playing with the team. Thank you. Yeah. Next up, Doug Johnson. Doug is a junior. We expect Doug back next year. Uh, Doug's very, very quick. He's got good hands, a good shooter, good defensive player. We expect a lot of things from Doug. Doug has also helped us out a lot this year. Uh, I mentioned earlier about our bench. You can't win a ball team. Uh, you cannot win a championship, especially a state championship, with just five players. You need other players to give you support, moral support, to get out and give you uh, uh, help in practice. And all of these guys have been fantastic. Doug? First, I'd just like to say um, hello to my mother and my father and Lisa. And I want to say um, thank you to uh, the Township of Neptune, the um, cheerleaders for cheering for us, and um, especially to the coaches, and especially you, Mr. Moore, because I've known you um, ever since the seventh grade, and you've been my coach so far, and it couldn't happen to a nicer man. Thank you, Doug. All right, next over is Earl Morgan. This is Earl the Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Earl is an excellent player. He's got excellent skills. Uh, next year, uh, I'm looking uh, uh, for forward to uh, great things from Earl. Uh, he has a lot of potential. Uh, Earl can do just about anything he wants to do. Uh, this year, Earl has helped us out quite a bit. So, uh, Earl, you got a anything to say? Yeah, I want to thank the township, all the coaches, and the fellas, and I'm glad we won the states and everything. Hope we could do the same thing next year. Okay. All right. Last but not least is Batman. <laughs> yeah, this this is uh, Carl Braggs. I have had the pleasure to coach Carl Braggs uh, since seventh grade, uh, and uh, Carl has been a leader on every team I've ever coached. Uh, Carl has contributed in so many areas. This year, I asked Carl to sacrifice his scoring. So for the betterment of the team, I told Carl if he could do that, we could go a long way. And he said, Coach, I'm ready to do anything you want me to do. And Carl, along with Brian Gabriel, was our co-captains this year. And I tell you, for leadership, those two guys really gave it to us. Carl, state tournament, uh, sometimes he only scored five points. But believe me, he rebounded played defense, he brought the ball up, he did everything he had to do. He did everything it took to win a state championship. And uh, I, I'm very, very proud to have been a coach, Carl Bragg. Carl? First of all, I would like to thank all the people in the community for the support they gave us. I would like to three, thank the three coaches because without them, we wouldn't have been able to win. And I'd like to say thank you to the other 12 people that was on the team because I wouldn't have been able to win a state by myself. I'd just like to thank everybody. Coach, it's a fine group of gentlemen. Uh, coach, any closing comments? This will be the last time we'll be talking to you this year. It was your second year as coach, and you brought the uh, state title back to Neptune. I'm sure we'll be seeing you more next year. Yes, one final word. Bill, I'd like to thank you and all the fellows that worked with you. Uh, this has really been a fantastic experience for me and my players, and all the exposure has been real nice. One other thing. Uh, as championships go, uh, I have uh, talked to the fellas about this quite a bit. I said to them that one of the things that we would like to leave with this community as a state championship team is that to win a championship is fine, but to be good people, to, uh, uh, to have lasting relationships, to carry yourself and conduct yourself as a gentleman at all times, is one of the greatest things that they can do as people. And these 13 guys, as far as I'm concerned, have been some of the greatest people that I've ever been associated with. Russ Walling and Bill Pullen have done fantastic, have done a fantastic job in, in helping me. Without them, the state championship could not have been possible. And I'd like to thank all of the people in the community who have supported us all year long. Thank you very, very much.
Well, you can talk about the Scarlet Flyers state championship. You can tell them that they're, they're sure conference champions. You can talk about Central Jersey champions. You can talk about the great coaching of Henry Moore, Russ Walling, and Bill Pullen. But one thing this is, is a team. They played together from November until it all ended March 21st, 1981. State champion, Neptune, Scarlet Flyers. We'll be back after this. All right. Be gay, 